What's up YouTube, Andrew's Car Reviews coming back at you with another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at the 2019 Jeep Compass Altitude. Let's take a look. First and foremost, my job is to get you all the information you need to feel like you're an educated consumer. So if there's anything that I don't cover in this video that you're curious about, please leave a comment with a question down below. If you see anything you like in the video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave it a like, and comment down below. So we're gonna start with an exterior tour. The first thing you'll notice is this vehicle is equipped with the laser blue pearl coat exterior paint. It's also got the blackout package, which is the altitude package. Um, comes with all blacked out emblems, badges, and all that sort of stuff. Um, we'll start the tour here looking at the compass badge, which is blacked out, as well as the 18 inch blacked out wheels. It also has a gloss black top, um, which complements the laser blue paint really well. The fuel door is on the passenger side. You'll also notice it has some pretty cool tail lights on the 19 Compass. And you'll also notice the 4x4 badge as well as the Jeep badge are blacked out. And then we'll show you the hood and the front grill. You'll notice those pockets are also blacked out. The Jeep badge is blacked out. It also has some pretty cool fog lights. And then if you take a look at some of the craftsmanship of the headlights, you'll notice that the low beams have the little Jeep emblem around them so that's pretty cool and then we are at Fury Motors in Stillwater Minnesota that's where I sell Jeeps at because of how windy it is today we're gonna to spend most of the rest of the review on the interior of the vehicle so we can reduce wind noise taking a look at the driver door you got your window controls here you got power uh, side mirrors and they're also heated as you can see there you got your unlock buttons over here and the child lock for the windows it does have a six speaker sound system it has Power eight way adjustment for the driver's seat. It has automatic headlamps, and here's where the um, interior lighting controls are. It has a fabric kind of cloth um, middle portion of the seat, as well as a, a vinyl bolster all the way around. Now that we're on the interior, you can see the steering wheel. You got your controls for your. Uh, driver information display menu right over here. You got your controls for voice commands over here as well as um, calling. And then you have your controls for your cruise control on this side. And we're gonna start her up here. It does have push button start. All right, here's where the information, driver information display resides. I'm gonna cycle through the menus here. We're on speedometer at the moment but you can actually get a lot of different things in the vehicle info. So we're looking at tire pressure here, coolant temp, trans temp, oil temperature, and then battery voltage are all the things that you can monitor on your vehicle information display there. It'll also show you your fuel economy on demand. Um, this vehicle obviously hasn't been driven, you know, it has eight miles on it, so it's averaging 6.8 MPG, but that's mostly because it's been sitting in the parking lot when it's been running. And then trip information does have the stop start function for fuel savings at stoplights and that sort of thing. Um, and then you can cycle through uh, the sixth part of the driver information displays audio information, messages, it doesn't have any stored messages right now. And then you can also do different things with the screen setup, put different things in different areas. Um, right now we got the compass on the upper left the gear we're in park in the in the middle and then we're just got run in the top right and then mileage in the bottom middle and then settings you can enter the vehicle settings from the menu here and then we're back at speedometer it has a fourth generation uconnect system with a seven inch display i'm going to turn it down down here with the power button all right so right away it'll put us into the radio setup obviously am fm and sirius satellite you get your presets up here 12 presets that you can set all right and then we'll move over into the media portion so if you have a bluetooth device connected you can play through bluetooth you can also use a usb port to play your media um, as well as auxiliary input Here's your climate controls. You also have climate controls down here if you prefer the old school operation of the knob. Um, but you can control it digitally through the screen here. In the apps menu, you can move any of these kind of like uh, 
smartphone you can move any of these into your toolbar here if you really like your say you really like to have the control for your heated wheel easily access what you can do is you can grab it and drag and drop it down here and there you got your heated wheel all right what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna put controls back in there because I prefer that control but it's fairly simple and intuitive to operate the system moving over into your controls you got heated and passenger uh, driver and passenger seats and then a heated wheel so this has the cold weather group you go into phone and it's asking you if you want to pair phone I'll press yes and then what I'll do here is I'll go down in my smartphone I'll turn the Bluetooth on and then it'll show up right down here when it finds the Uconnect system. Yep, it found the Uconnect, so I click on it there on my phone. All right. And then now it's attempting to connect, you see. And we're going to verify that the pin matches on the phone on there. And we're going to press pair on here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow it to sync my contacts so that I can do voice commands. And I will make this phone the favorite here. All right, now it's downloading my phone book. So once that's ready, okay, it looks like it's all ready. So now if I go in here into my phone book, then I can see that I have my contacts here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a call through the system just so you can see how that operates. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all connected down here. So now I can set my phone out of the way and I'll come over here and I'll press this green button to start a call and then it, it gives me suggestions so I can call somebody in my phone book, dial a number, redial the last outgoing call, or call back the last incoming call. So now I'm gonna tell it to call my girlfriend Catherine, all right? So I'm gonna press this green button here. Call Catherine. Calling Catherine. See, it's to calling Catherine. Call, press the phone button on the steering wheel. All right, now I don't actually wanna call her because she's at work, so I'm gonna end that phone call here. But yeah, you can uh, tell it to switch to a radio station by pressing this button. Tune to 94.5 FM. Tuning to 94.5 FM. Over here in settings, you have a lot of different controls for different things that you can set up. Um, as far as safety and driving assistance, this does have a park view backup camera. And then it has the active guidelines for when I put it in reverse here. So show you what I mean um, when you turn the wheel it'll show you the angle that you're turning so that's nice so I like to keep those guidelines on the fourth generation Uconnect system is also uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capable so all you got to do is plug your uh, factory cable into the USB port and into your phone and then it'll pull up the option to go into CarPlay mode right over here for Apple users and then for Android Auto users you actually have to download the application and then you can do the screen mirroring functionality. Alright so now I'm done demonstrating the Uconnect functionality. Uh, moving on down to this vehicle has a select terrain system so right now we're in auto mode but there's also a mode for snow, sand, and mud and then you can also press this button to put it in four wheel drive lock. And this vehicle does come equipped with a nine speed automatic transmission, leather wrapped um, shift knob here you can also do your own shifting if you want to put it in kind of the manual auto stick mode. And then this also does have the auto stop start function as I mentioned earlier which you can turn off if you don't like that functionality. And then it has electronic parking brake here and then you can turn off traction control here. Now we'll take a brief look at the key fob. Your unlock button is here, your lock button is here and then remote start is here. You press that twice to remote start it when the vehicle is locked and you're outside of the vehicle. And then it also comes with a normal type of key inside of here. So all you have to do is slide this over and then this part detaches as uh, an actual key. So that's nice in case the battery dies in the vehicle and you can't get in. It still has a normal key so you can get inside. So that's good. Not a ton of legroom in the back. I do have the seat all the way back. So I mean you could fit a small passenger back here. Definitely not the biggest interior on any of the Jeeps. Probably the smallest Jeep in the lineup as far as legroom is concerned. You do have a 115 volt um, AC plug in back here, like the type of power that you have at your house. And then another USB port back here. Your vents are here. And then you do have an armrest arm slash cup holder right here for the rear passengers. And then these seats fold down pretty easily. You just pull this little tab and you can get them to fold all the way down. All right. 
so that you can get some more cargo back here. It does come with, uh, if it has the cold weather group, then it does have the all weather slush mats, so that's nice. In the far back, there's a fair amount of cargo space here. You got a little little pocket over here for some, some items, as well as a pocket over here for some items. Uh, you got another power outlet back here for like an electric cooler or something. If you push this down, you got a lot more storage in here. And actually, this is the rear cargo liner as well as it does come with a tire inflator kit, so that's nice. And a little bit of storage space under here. Um, no power seats over here on this package. Take a look at the door panel here quick. You got a little space for your owner's manual and other miscellaneous items in here. Actually pretty spacious considering. And then you got a little, little net here to put some small items here. And then we also sell all our vehicles with locking lug nuts so that the wheels don't get stolen. The 2019 Jeep Compass does come equipped with a 2.4 liter multi-air engine that's running right now. These are actually pretty quiet engines. It might sound a little loud because I got a, a vehicle next to me over here, but you get your air box over here, your battery and fuses over here. So now let's get down to brass tacks. The manufacturer's suggested retail price for this 2019 Jeep Compass is $30,550. Uh, probably the best way to acquire a new Jeep Compass would be to lease it. They have the most aggressive lease programs typically. Um, the rebates change on a month to month basis, but typically as far as the entire Jeep lineup is concerned, your least expensive lease payment is going to be a Jeep Compass. Um, I've seen Jeep Compass lease out anywhere from like the 200s to the 300s, so they're pretty affordable. Um, the vehicle also does come with a three year or 36,000 mile basic limited warranty. So that's your basic bumper to bumper that they offer on pretty much every vehicle, as well as a five year or 60,000 mile powertrain limited warranty. And then at Fury, we sell a lifetime powertrain above and beyond that factory warranty. Um, and as well as on a lot of our used vehicles as well. Um, the 2019 Jeep Compass does a combined 25 MPG. So that's pretty good considering it's a four x four vehicle. Um, so that's 22 in the city and 30 on the highway. So that's pretty reasonable. One of the main selling points of a Jeep Compass would be the fuel economy as well as the 4x4 capability. Um, you know, going to be really great in the winter and you're not going to have to spend an arm and a leg either on the purchase price or on gas in a daily, daily driving situation. So that's nice. And then it also has an overall vehicle score of a four star as far as the safety rating is concerned. So that's pretty good. I'm 6'7", and I actually have enough legroom to drive this vehicle. You know, I put the seat all the way back as well as, you know, just kind of adjusted the steering wheel up a little bit. And actually, like, it's more spacious than you would think it would be, you know, can, all things considered. Um, not a ton rear leg room or anything like that, but if you need a bigger vehicle, you know, you'd probably be looking at maybe like a Cherokee or even a lot bigger would be like the Grand Cherokee would be a better option for you if you're looking for something that's bigger. But yeah, the 2019 Jeep Compass is, is a pretty good all, all around vehicle if you need four by four functionality. You know, winter's coming up and you know, snow's gonna fly. I mean, snow's already flown here in Minnesota. Um, you know, we just had snow the other day and it's only the middle of October, which is insane. But you know, you get what you get with this Minnesota weather. Um, so yeah, if you're in the market for a Jeep Compass, you should definitely leave a comment down below and I'll be able to help you out, especially if you're in the Twin Cities metro area, that is Minnesota. Um, I've been selling Jeeps since June, and so I'd be really happy to help you guys out, um, especially if you have any questions or, or if you're in the market. Let me know down below. If you saw anything you liked in the video, please give it a big like, a big subscribe, and leave it a comment and let me know what you thought. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to let me know. Um, you know, there's probably some a few things that I didn't cover in the video that you might be curious about. So definitely let me know if you have questions. All right, guys, this is Andrew's Car Review signing off. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.